Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream, and this is going to be a quick video. I've been riding on a daydream. This is for anybody that has a 460 Ford motorhome or tow vehicle. I'm going to show you how you can make a definite improvement with no money involved at all. Anybody can do this. Even the people that think, oh, I'm not very much a mechanic, it just takes couple tools and in a short amount of time you'll have this taken care of on your motorhome look for these black tubes or on your truck this is what it's going to look like and you're going to find this junction here and what you're going to do is you're going to loosen all these clamps once you have those hose clamps loosen just move them out of the way slide them up the tube one way or the other to get them out of the way now you're going to grab these tubes and you're going to twist them and break them loose from where they've been clamped onto the plastic they get a little sticky and you're gonna pull them off and you're gonna take off this entire thing down on the intake where that air tube comes off of this little junction thing that I was talking about this goofy little box you're gonna pull this off the intake see just like that now at this point you're gonna take this out of the tubes so you're gonna be looking at yours and it's gonna look kind of like this and it's gonna have these goofy little trumpet horns that are attached to it that were deep inside of those tubes well you're gonna do like I did and cut these off all you're gonna do is take a hacksaw you can see there's a little bit of a lip here and you're gonna match it and make it look like this side so just past that little lip a little ways you're gonna cut off those air horns and what these are, are velocity stacks basically and it's supposed to help with low speed air velocity into the engine and it's also supposed to help with sound to keep the sound down to make it a less throaty sound whenever you've got your foot into it either way these things are restrictive all an engine is is an air pump you want to get the air in as most efficiently as you can and you want to get it out the same way and removing these you can tell the difference in size of restriction is going to help considerably and it does once you cut these off with a hacksaw then just take a, a razor knife and go around and clean off the edges you don't want any plastic hanging off and do the other side too as long as there's no pieces that are hanging off that can get into the engine that's it you're done and then all you do is bolt it back together in the exact opposite way that I showed of course reinstalling this too any of you guys that make this modification on your motorhome or your truck you will immediately notice a difference in the way that your throttle responds when you get in your motorhome or your truck you know about how much gas you have to give it at the throttle with your foot for it to start moving you're going to notice that happens a lot faster and you won't have to push it as far and that happens throughout the RPM range now as far as gas mileage increase I don't know about that however as far as overall efficiency this helps tremendously I've heard people saying they get up to 5 horsepower 10 horsepower more and up to 2 miles per gallon more I don't know if any of that's true but the modification is well worth it this is a quick tip for all you guys out there with big block Fords and it's been done for years I just wanted to share it with the RV crowd so I hope this helps out and as always hope to see you out there bye